Hi, welcome to another episode of Not Your Dad's Beer. Your host, Mark Bay. Say I decided to film at home, didn't really want to go downtown. Um, but with that being said, Halloween weekend, I decided to give this whole thing over to Avery Brewing because I got some fun stuff from him. So we started off with Samuel. Uh, so for this weekend, we got Rumpkin, 15.9%. Pumpkin ale aged for six months in Gosling rum barrels. This is a no joke beer. It came out last year, draft only. Big hit around Denver. This year, the first time it's ever been bottled. The ABV went up, you know, 13 to 15.9. That's a big, big jump. So I'm expecting this to be quite boozy and delicious, just with all those pumpkin spices and, and pumpkin feel to it. Uh, with that being said, we're gonna hop right into it. Um, I should let everyone know at home that, you know, Avery does things in trilogies and series of threes. So their dictator series, you know, it's Maharaja, Kaiser, Czar, that's three. They have the Holy Trinity, the Demons of Ale, and this is the first in the Barrel Age series. Next one's gonna be Jacob. Uh, Barrel Age Stout comes out in about December. There will be a third one, unconfirmed on what it's going to be yet that's going to be released later in the year so this is kind of cool with avery uh, expanding up um hopefully soon and their barrel age program has gotten bigger and bigger uh they're actually releasing more stuff that's not just sour beer and not just limited to the brewery only but this is sold out just about everywhere if you're still looking for it, check out your beer bars in denver uh and some out of state but in denver you got euclid hall fresh craft falling rock cheeky monk they all should have rumpkin if not by bottle then definitely a keg of it and uh, yeah, if you're looking for it for your own personal use at your house, want to store some in age, because I got six on aging, uh, you want to check out Grapevine, Leedsdale and Monaco. They're the last place pretty much in town with it. Uh, Colorado Liquor Mart might still have some in Mile High, but Leedsdale doesn't do an allocation. You can walk in, pick up as many as you want, which is what I did. And uh, yeah, got them cellared away, which is nice. So we're going to crack it open. Got a Halloween party to go to in a little bit. Thought I'd start off the uh, night right. So stay tuned. We're going to see how it pours, see how it smells, really see how it tastes. Give you a verdict. So we've got rumpkin poured. It really has a soft head on top, uh, tight bubbles, which you know, kind of actually loose bubbles, but they're fading pretty quick. That's to be expected with a beer this big. Um, color wise, definitely just a super, super dark, dark brown. Um, not much orange going on, just really, really dark brown. Give it a good swirl here. Head comes back a little bit. Doesn't look like there's going to be great lacing. But with that being said, we're gonna hop into it, see what it's like. All right, guys, so we got rumpkin poured. Gonna give it a good swirl here, get some air in there, get a good nose, see what it smells like. All right, right away, it smells like pumpkin pie. Um, literally cold pumpkin pie right out of the fridge. So you're, you're getting soft hints of spices, you're getting just a little bit of that pumpkin feel. Um, but it's subtle, it's real subtle. It's definitely a sugariness there behind it. I mean, that's gonna be apparent with the alcohol. You're definitely getting really big malty creaminess off of it too. It smells like it's gonna be awesome. Just a touch of booze in the back, but it's still soft. Let's see what it tastes like, shall we? That is delicious. All right, guys. So the rumpkin, for being 15.9%, I mean, it's boozy, but you still it's still pretty well hidden for how big that beer is or how big this beer is. Um, right away, you're getting sweet sugariness up front on the, on the center of the palate, but it has the body of pumpkin. Like it actually feels like you're drinking a, a pumpkin pie that somehow you made it with rum. Excuse me. Um, not getting a lot of hot booziness in the mouth. It's actually more of a warming flavor that comes down the back of the palate into the chest. That's where you're really getting the hot booziness. You're getting uh, minor spices and then throughout the uh, and then throughout your mouth. Sweetness up front, real thick, real heavy. This almost has a stout-like quality for how heavy it is. Um, but surprisingly, the booze is really, really, really well masked. Uh, you're only getting it as a warming sensation down here, which is nice because this would be a great beer for the colder nights coming up here in Colorado. Um, so yeah, sweetness, 
spiciness, really girthy in the mouth, just thick body to it, heavy, um, with a warm booze on the back. And see, the good thing is with this being as large as it is, 15.9, uh, you can definitely age it for a while, and that booziness is going to kind of cut back and bring forth more rich flavors. Overall, this is a pretty phenomenal beer. Um, you definitely need something burly to pair up with it if you're looking at food. You definitely want to go with roasted meats. Stick with delicata squash, uh, butternut squash, spaghetti squash. Those might be delicate, but those flavors are going to really match with uh, match well with what you're getting here with the pumpkinness and the spice. Um, honestly, I would love to have this with something as simple as pumpkin pie. I think that together is pretty awesome. Um, but overall, this is fantastic. I mean, I'm watching the carbonation to spew up from the center. It's definitely well carbonated. Uh, overall, this is a pretty phenomenal beer. So if you're into pumpkin flavored beers that are not overly pumpkin, because this is definitely heavy on the rum, like you're getting rum and pumpkin and spice and creaminess, it's a rich, delicious beer. I mean, I'm already feeling my forehead kind of run away. It's the first sign of uh, I'm feeling pretty damn good, and I am. So this is a really awesome beer. Uh, I'm, I'm glad this is what I'm starting my night off with. I mean, I just want a candle that smells like this is what it comes down to. Just Avery, make a rumpkin candle. That's all I got to say. This is truly a sipper. I would suggest sharing it. Um, that's why I got sick. So down the road, me and the girlfriend, we can enjoy a bottle between us you know, every year and continued on from that point because they age a lot of the Avery stuff that's really big ABV. Change the world, guys. Literally, change the world. Share some craft beer. Pick up a bottle of rum, can share it with someone who's never had it, who loves he loves the uh, the fall feasts and the pumpkinness of stuff. This will definitely turn them on to that. You know, friends don't let friends drink cheap beer. That's all I got to say. Thanks for joining us. Have a wonderful night. Bye. Avery Brewing's Rumpkin, right in time for the fall season. And guess what, guys? This is not your dad's beer. Thank you.